Chapter 8 Unexpected Encounter Prior to Projection Friday, July 28th, 1979 I went to bed for the last time this night at 4.21am. Before this, one of the helpers performed energy exercises while coupled with me. This had begun soon after awakening from the prior sleep and lasted for more than half an hour. I heard a rooster crow, which is a common occurrence here in Ipanema. The ambient temperature was 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I lay on the right side. Extra physical period. I found myself outside the Soma going along a road with small, primitive rural buildings, a lot of dust and an appearance of poverty. Dawn was breaking. The inhabitants along the road were waking up and the little rustic houses were beginning to come to life. One of the houses, its front door open, had smoke coming out of the chimney. A path of beaten earth was used for the vehicles to reach the farms. Looking at the ground, I managed to detect three slightly shining, used Brazilian coins that stood out from the dust on the side of the road. Suddenly I thought, I am outside the Soma in Brazil. I need to make sure of this. As I scanned the area to see if anyone was there, a smiling young man appeared. I got closer to see better and a bronzed, healthy face came into clearer view. Hey, it's Pinheiro. The extra physical consciousness only smiled as if in agreement, but did not emit any specific thought. He seemed to be in excellent extraphysical condition. The recollections of Pinheiro came to me in perfect detail. He was one of the brothers in a family that lived in the district of Alto de Santo Benedito, in the city of Uberaba. Pinheiro was one of the younger brothers of a friend of mine in high school. I asked instantly, What? Have you already died? He responded clearly in a flash of thought. Yes, more than five years ago. I decided to say goodbye and terminate the mental dialogue. I thought, I want to remember this. I'm going to return to the Soma right now. Thought is living power. I simply emitted the idea and I was instantly awake, finalizing the extra physical experience with a long breath. After returning, I was still lying on the right side. The night remained dark as the clock showed 5.12 a.m. The memories of the projection came to me in their entirety in a pleasant manner. I felt that I had achieved a victory by passing a difficult test with my memory. Observations Two facts about this projection should be clarified. I was surprised that I could detect the coins in the dust while outside the soma, as I have been short-sighted since adolescence. I was also impressed by how current inflation has undercut the worth of small, low-value coins. How did I arrive at the road? Was it on my own? Or was I moved by someone invisible to me? Could it have been Pinheiro? It is sometimes quite inconvenient for a projector to keep a record of events, as it interrupts the night's rest. However, there is no other solution giving the fleeting nature of the recollection of extraphysical events. A diary serves another important function. The registering of extraphysical events augments the projector's capacity for detailed observation and for the consequent translation of the experience into words. This is not an easy accomplishment. <laughs>